So last night we had a bit of a problem. We were in the kitchen, I was just about to put the oven on and to make dinner and the power cut. Ah! And we didn't know what had caused it. And it, you know, it's a fairly new house. So I don't really fully understand the electrics in it yet. I should do. And I'm really good with that. You know, my old house in the UK, I managed all the electrics. I knew where everything was. And if anything tripped, I knew where to go to fix it. But here I just felt a bit lost. Anyway, the reason was it seems that some appliance here, one appliance, I don't know which because it's weird the way the electrics are rigged up here with this three phase thing. Um, everything's all over the place. It turns out that one of the fuses is blue and on that fuse, there's three fuses for the whole house. On that one fuse are just a random selection of plug sockets and lights and appliances. It just seems so untidy and disorganized. For example, the one that blew took out the fridge and the oven, and yet the freezer that sat next to the fridge stayed on because that's on a different fuse. It just seems really weird. Like in England, you know, things that are high ampage, high load, for example, an oven is on its own dedicated fuse, and um, that didn't trip. Instead, the whole master fuse blew. And it just got me thinking about what I hate about these. Now these are the European plug sockets and now I have to praise them in some respects. I like the fact that the form factor is minimal. This is one that doesn't have an earth so it's only two pins and it's really really small but then you've got the other bigger ones like this thing. I mean it's they're really ugly aren't they? They're very bulky. They're also the wires normally come out like that rather than at a, um, a 90 degree angle from it so the wires stick out of the wall and it's really annoying. Um, this one does have an earth, but the point being that despite the size of this chunky thing, there's no fuse in it. And I love the fact that UK plug sockets all have a fuse, whether it's a light, an oven, a microwave, a fridge, an oven. Uh, I've said that one already. Anyway, the point is that if any of those appliances has an issue, the fuse in the plug blows, which leaves everything else working, everything else turned on. But here, no plug sockets have fuses. And so that meant, means that whatever appliance blew the whole thing last night, it couldn't trip locally in the little fuse in the plug of whatever the appliance was, say the oven, for example, which is quite common. Instead, it took out the whole master fuse. And that's just a really silly design. I do like the fact that, the, as I said, the form factor is really small um, of those plugs. I also think they look nice, um, like when they do have the 90 degree angle, I do think the wall sockets could be modernized quite a bit. I'm gonna find one in here. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> these just look so ugly. I mean, I know that UK plug sockets were not exactly uh, pretty not long ago, but MK, a company that designed plug sockets, changed all of that. And they made UK plug sockets really streamlined, a little bit smooth around the edges and more modern and slick looking. European plug sockets definitely need that. But anyway, moral of this story, please, whoever designs European plug sockets, <laughs> design one with a fuse. It's so obvious and it, it's such a nice peace of mind that if any little appliance that you've got plugged in in a house like this, if any of them trip, the fuse blows. Anyway, enough of my rant. Uh, comment below with your thoughts on European plug sockets. Thanks for watching and click subscribe. Cheers.